impactful uh, thing that you experienced. And actually, just yeah, look at me for the camera. Cool. Yeah, so uh, my name is Ashish. I'm from New York, and this is my first time ever doing any plant medicine. Man, it was a ride. I'm still processing all of it. It's like a lot to, a lot to take in, especially four nights in a row of ceremonies. I had been doing a lot of research, and you know, a common thing that you'll read about ayahuasca is people experience their own death. And frankly, like that was terrifying coming in. I was just like, I really hope I don't have to go through that because that just sounds really scary. Like that's kind of the primordial fear that we all have. So I went in the first night with the intention of asking Mother Ayahuasca to be gentle on me and to uh, just kind of like ease me into it. Somehow she gently allowed me to experience my own death over and over and over again. And when I say over and over again, I just mean like for hours, just like I was dying and then being reborn and dying and being reborn. And if I was listening to somebody say this on camera before coming to do ayahuasca, I would just feel like it's the most terrifying in the world. But the weird thing is that it actually was like so incredibly peaceful. It was so sublime. My meditation practice that I've been doing for a long time really helped me stay mindful of the fact that yes, it did feel like my body was dying or my thoughts were getting discombobulated. It kind of felt like just a letting go of everything that I know myself to be, which in retrospect I realized was really just an ego death. While it was like very overwhelming, I think somehow it was so peaceful and sublime and every time that I did die and sort of cross over to the other side, I noticed that I was still there. On one level like I'm dying, but then I'd just be lying there and be like, but I'm, I'm still here, like I'm still conscious. And that was really fascinating because just to share a quick story, like. My grandmother was actually dying in the hospital and my whole family was by her bedside in India, my mom's mom, and I watched her die, I watched her pass away like on her bed. And I just remember her, her being so peaceful and calm, even though she was like in a lot of pain and was like coughing and wasn't doing great. And obviously all of us were really sad watching it, but she was so peaceful and I just it always stuck with me. It was the first time I saw somebody just like go from alive to dead in front of my own eyes. I never understood how somebody could feel so peaceful like in that moment. Then on Monday night, I experienced that in myself. I experienced the peace of, if you can just let go and surrender, you realize that there is this infinite, timeless awareness behind your mortal experience on this earth as a human that is untouchable and is just full of light and love. And I realize as I'm saying this, it's like, might be difficult to understand having not gone through it. As I was dying and doing so, so peacefully, it made me think of my grandmother and it made me realize that she was really at peace when she went. And that really helped me come to terms with her death and my own death. Obviously, I don't want to die. I want to still live and live a good, healthy, long life. But I'm no longer as afraid of death. And what I realized in the integration afterwards, which Rhythmia does a great job of just helping you process these experiences, is that this fear of death was actually driving all the other fears in my life. Just this constant undertone of anxiety with everything that I'm doing. And I just feel like a lot more peaceful and able to process difficult emotions when they come up because I know that literally everything is impermanent, but the one thing that isn't is this loving awareness. Yeah, it's, it was really powerful. It's something you read about in a lot of spiritual texts and Buddhist, I'm really into Buddhism and Hinduism. Kind of half believe it, like it sounds good, but part of you kind of doesn't trust it until you have an experience like that. So I'm just so thankful for the medicine and, and really uh, happy and proud of myself for going through this experience. Hey guys, we really love Rhythmia. And so we made this video to share the magic of this transformative and healing space. Use the link in the description to visit their website, sign up to try and win a free trip, and hopefully we'll see you there someday. Thanks so much for watching. Toodles.